Ever wonder how Schrodinger's cat can be both alive and dead at the same time? Ah, the enigmatic realm of quantum mechanics, where the dance of particles defies our classical understanding of reality. Let's step back in time to the early 20th century, to the birth of quantum theory. The stage was set by physicists like Max Planck and Albert Einstein, who challenged the status quo, unveiling a universe that was anything but predictable. It was a world where particles could exist in multiple places at the same time, a world of probabilities, not certainties. This was the quantum postulate, a radical departure from the deterministic Newtonian physics. Erwin Schrodinger, a man who would forever change our understanding of this quantum realm. He proposed a thought experiment involving a cat, a flask of poison, a radioactive source, and a box. The cat, he suggested, could be both alive and dead until someone opened the box to check. This wasn't a morbid fascination with feline mortality, but rather an illustration of the strange concept of superposition. In the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, much like Schrodinger's cat being both alive and dead. It's not until we make an observation that these particles choose a state. This is the jitterbug dance of quantum mechanics, a dance where all the steps exist at once until the music stops and a step is chosen. It was a revelation that baffled even the brightest minds. Albert Einstein famously said, God does not play dice with the universe. But as Niels Bohr retorted, Einstein stopped telling God what to do. The debate rages on, but one thing is certain. Quantum mechanics has rewritten the rules of reality. So welcome to this grand overture of quantum computing, where qubits pirouette in superposition and quantum gates choreograph a technological symphony. Prepare to delve into a world where reality is not as it seems, where the classical gives way to the quantum. In the quantum world, reality is a symphony of possibilities, each note resonating in harmony until observed. Let's tune into this quantum symphony, shall we? Imagine a ballet dancer spinning gracefully on stage. Now, imagine her spinning in two directions at once, impossible not for a qubit. Just as a classical bit holds information as a zero or a one, a quantum bit or qubit is the prima donna of quantum computation, but unlike the classical bit, a qubit doesn't just choose to be a zero or a one. It embraces both states simultaneously, pirouetting in a superposition of states until observed. It's like our dancer performing a pirouette clockwise and counterclockwise at the same time. This is the magic of quantum mechanics, where the rules of classical physics take a bow and exit stage left. But the dance of quantum computation doesn't stop there. Enter quantum entanglement, the mysterious tango of the quantum world. Imagine two dancers perfectly in sync, no matter the distance between them. Each dancer instantly knows the other's state, even if they are at opposite ends of the stage or even in different theaters. This is quantum entanglement. Two qubits become entangled, their states intertwined in such a way that the state of one instantly reflects the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. Now, imagine a choreographer directing these dancers, guiding their movements to create a beautiful performance. In quantum computation, these choreographers are the quantum gates. They manipulate the state of qubits, orchestrating their dance to perform complex calculations at blazing speeds. These gates control and manipulate the entanglement, superposition, and state of the qubits, creating a harmonious ballet of information processing. But remember, just as a ballet performance is ephemeral, so too is the dance of the qubits. Once observed, the qubits cease their dance. They collapse from their superposed state to a single state, becoming a simple zero or one. The quantum ballet ends, leaving behind only the echo of its complex choreography in the form of computational results. Each qubit performs its ballet entangled in a mesmerizing dance of information orchestrated by quantum gates. Ever tried to find a needle in a haystack? How about a quantum haystack? Now let's dive into quantum sheet music where algorithms are the maestros conducting the symphony of quantum computing. Our first virtuoso, Shor's algorithm, spins a melody of prime factorization. In a classical world, prime factorization is like trying to break a code. It's hard, time-consuming, and grows exponentially more complex the larger the number. But Shor's algorithm, with its quantum prowess, dances around this problem with graceful ease. This algorithm leverages the quantum phenomena of superposition and entanglement to factor large numbers exponentially faster than any classical computer. It's like simultaneously playing every note on a piano and finding the exact melody you want almost instantaneously. Quite a feat. 
Our second maestro is Grover Search, an algorithm that excels at finding the proverbial needle in a quantum haystack. Imagine you're looking for a specific book in a library containing millions. A classical algorithm would need to check each book one by one. But Grover's algorithm? Oh, it performs a quantum waltz, checking multiple books simultaneously, reducing the search time dramatically. It's like having a librarian who can read every book at once and tell you exactly where your desired book is. Quite the time saver. And now let's talk about the grand composition. The magnum opus of quantum computing. Quantum supremacy. This is the point where a quantum computer can perform a task that no classical computer can feasibly accomplish. It's like an orchestra playing a symphony so complex, so intricate, that no single instrument could ever hope to replicate it. We're on the brink of reaching this point, and when we do, it will be a crescendo moment in the history of computing. These algorithms are the virtuosos of the quantum world, playing a symphony that defies classical limitations. With every note, every beat, they're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, creating a harmony that's uniquely quantum. This is the power of quantum sheet music, and we've only just begun to hear its melody. But what happens when the audience starts to disrupt the performance? In the quantum symphony, the audience is not just a passive spectator, it's a part of the performance, and it can be rather unruly. This is the challenge of decoherence, where the delicate quantum states of our qubits can get jumbled up by their environment, Imagine a violinist playing a soulful melody only to have their strings go out of tune mid-performance. That's what decoherence does to our qubits, shattering the intricate dance of entanglement and superposition. But fear not, there's a maestro on the horizon. It's called quantum error correction. Just like how a conductor keeps the orchestra in tune, quantum error correction is the process of keeping our qubits on their quantum toes. It's a way of tuning the quantum instruments, so to speak. But it's a daunting task, to say the least. A single quantum error correction code requires a whole ensemble of physical qubits, and this is where things get a bit crowded on the quantum stage. And what about the practical applications? Where does this quantum symphony find its stage in the real world? Well, from cryptography to drug discovery, the possibilities are exciting. In cryptography, quantum computers could crack codes that would take classical computers an age of the universe to decipher. In drug discovery, they could model complex molecular structures opening up new avenues for therapeutic research. But here's the rub. These applications are still a ways off. We're in the early stages of the quantum symphony, still tuning our instruments, still learning the score. The quantum computer of today is like a piano with just a few keys. It can play a tune, but it's not quite ready for a Beethoven sonata. Despite the discordant notes, the promise of a harmonious symphony persists. We're pushing the boundaries of what's possible, navigating the challenges, and harnessing the power of the quantum world. And in this journey, who knows what symphonies will compose? What if you could teleport bits and bytes? Welcome to the dawn of the quantum internet. Imagine a world where data doesn't travel through cables, but rather, it appears instantaneously from one place to another. This is not science fiction. This is quantum teleportation, a peculiar quirk of quantum entanglement. The strange dance that happens when two particles become intertwined. The quantum internet, still in its infancy, promises this and so much more. It could usher in an era of unbreakable encryption, exponentially faster data transfer, and computational power beyond our wildest dreams. But the quantum symphony doesn't stop at the internet. Picture artificial intelligence donning its quantum tuxedo. Quantum AI, a fusion of machine learning and quantum computing, could revolutionize everything from drug discovery to climate modeling. It could sift through vast amounts of data in the blink of an eye, uncovering patterns and making predictions that would take classical computers millennia to calculate. However, like any powerful tool, quantum technology comes with its share of ethical conundrums. In the wrong hands, quantum computers could crack encryption codes, posing a significant threat to cybersecurity. Moreover, the advent of quantum AI could lead to unprecedented automation, potentially displacing jobs and disrupting economies. As we stand on the precipice of the quantum future, we must tune our instruments carefully, ensuring a harmonious balance between quantum power and responsibility. We must navigate the quantum symphony with care, embracing the promise of quantum technology while remaining vigilant to its challenges. The quantum future is not a distant dream, it's here, humming with potential, waiting for us to unlock its symphony. So, let's plunge into the quantum realm Immerse ourselves in the dance of particles and compose the future with qubits and quantum gates.
And as we journey through this quantum landscape, let's remember, the power of quantum is not just about faster computers or unbreakable encryption. It's about a new way of understanding the universe, a new symphony of science where we are all both spectators and conductors. As we stand on the precipice of the quantum future, we must tune our instruments carefully, ensuring a harmonious balance between quantum power and responsibility.